Good evening. It is 20 to 10 on Wednesday evening. Anybody watching? How you doing? Do I need to turn the light on? Maybe this one. Yeah? Okay, sure. Sure. Look, you can see the you can see the snow reflecting on my face from the windshield. That's awesome. <clears throat> Anybody watching? How you doing? I'm doing my Unabomber impression tonight. <laughs> it's chilly. I just finished kickboxing. I'm in the Timmy's parking lot now. I actually went in. I haven't been into a Timmy's in like a year. <laughs> year and a half, maybe. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. But we ended our... We ended our class with a bunch of, he said core exercises, but I'm here to tell you they killed my hips. Okay. I was not happy. <laughs> Everything we did today was like hip related and I wanted to fucking die. <sighs> I have to modify everything that's hip related. Cause I just, I have, I do not have the strength in my hips for like this, this stair climbing shit and jumping around. I just, I can't, my hips can't take it. <clears throat> so I have to modify everything. And I think my instructor gets a little frustrated with it. I get extremely frustrated with it. Maybe I'm just, maybe he's not frustrated and it's just me and it's because it usually is me, but <clears throat> whatever. I hate it. I, I wish I could go a lot harder than I do, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I have a good time and that's all I really care about. I have a good time and I'm getting some exercise and the girls are a good time. We have, we've got one dude in our class and bless his soul. He's such a good sport. <laughs> like we don't pick on him or nothing. Like he's super quiet. He's super nice. He always says hello when he comes in and he says goodbye when he leaves. Like he's just the sweetest thing. I wish, I wish he would. Well, it's not really fair to say I wish he would talk more because I mean we're we're girl talking right like he doesn't want a girl talk I usually don't want a girl talk <laughs> but anyway he is a super nice guy and he goes bad heart I love it the girls go bad heart too like you know everybody goes mad heart everybody who's there wants to be there and they want to you know get in shape and learn some kickboxing and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of respect in there. It's, it's nice. It's very nice. This is probably the friendliest group that I've ever, uh, been in for anything in life. Actually, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the group stuff. Um, not, a, not a big people person, but they are a nice group and they are very, you know, they encouraging and supportive and all that kind of happy horse shit. So that's nice. <clears throat> it was very good. My hips are going to be very sore tomorrow. I'm glad I'm off tomorrow. I I'm glad I'm off. Mind you, <clears throat> I work Friday. Well, and it doesn't really matter because kickboxing is at 730 Friday night. So it's fine. <sighs> I have kind of reached the decision though that I need I need to strengthen my hips up. Um so I need to do some asking around and find out what exercise what kind of exercises I can do at home to strengthen my hips. Cause yeah, it's pathetic. Like even when I go to do kicks and stuff, like I can't raise my leg as much as I want to. Like I'm super flexible. I, I'm, I'm quite flexible. Thank you. Um, but I don't have the strength to hold my leg up to kick. Like I can do a kick and down, right? Fine. But when they say to do it in slow motion, which is fucking hard, um, and to hold it, fuck no. And it's not my legs that get sore. It's my hips. My hips just want to fucking die. So I need to strengthen those puppies.
And these core exercises I was so excited about because I hate my stomach so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Always. Forever. It's the bane of my existence. I hate it. Um, I hate my legs too, but I don't really see them. So I don't, you know, it, it's not as big a, of an issue, but yeah. Um, so I get super excited when they're like, you know, we're going to work our core. We're going to work our core. I'm like, yay. So we go to do these exercises and I don't really feel it in my core. I feel it in my hips. Like we're doing those, you kind of lean back and you have to keep your legs off the floor. And, uh, I don't know, do the scissor kicks and then you go in, in and out and then you do the one where you have to hold them and you're like a V. None of that affects my core much. I mean, it does because you have to, you have to tighten your core to hold everything up. Right. But it, it doesn't, it's not my core that goes, fuck me. It's my hips. <laughs> like, er, er, er. <sighs> whatever, whatever. It's fine. And my girlfriend was saying tonight that this is our third weekend or something. She was asking, she was asking me if I'd noticed a change in my body in the last three weeks. And I'm like, bitch, we're on like week two. And she goes, oh, no, 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 no. We're on week three. <laughs> I mean, she's like, she has taken like before pictures and at the end of this week or beginning of next week, whatever. Um, she said she's going to take like her three week picture in the same outfit she took week one in. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to know. I no, because I won't, I won't, even if there is change, I won't see change. Guarantee it. I just, I'm very, I'm very mean to myself. I, I will not, I will not see it. I will not, if I will not acknowledge it, like, no, it, I'll just, yeah. So <sighs> I'm not even going there. Like, no, we're not even going there. I'm just happy to get out of the house and do something that I enjoy doing three days a week that's not at my house, you know, that's outside the same normal walls and all that kind of jazz. So, yeah, not, not going into the picture taking. I don't, I'm not measuring myself, not weighing myself. I don't want to fucking know. I don't, I don't want to know. Nope. I beat myself up about enough shit. I don't fucking need that to. <sighs> so, yeah. She's kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure that you do, but okay. Thank you. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> so, and, and, I went out to the sports check today, this afternoon, Fed everybody lunch because everybody was home today. Boo Boo wasn't working. I wasn't working. Monkey had his school stuff, but he does it at home. So we're all home today. So around noonish, I made everybody French toast because I'd promised Monkey French toast this morning and a bitch slept in. I was tired. I did not sleep well. My sleep's been really off the last few weeks. Um, yeah, it's getting to where I almost, I almost want to call my doctor and talk to him about it, but mm, we're not quite there yet. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. I, it, it's, it's got to be a little bit more serious before I phone my doctor because I hate, I hate going to see the doctor and trying to explain things because when I was younger, I used to have, you know, I'd have a concern about something, you know, as, as a young girl, your body is changing. Well, all, you know, everybody, once they hit puberty, your body starts doing stupid shit. And it would, it would mess with me a little bit. I wouldn't say I'm a hypochondriac. Like I didn't think I was dying or anything, but it's like, I don't like, is this normal? Like, right. I have questions, that kind of thing. So you know, I would talk to my mom and my mom would be like, well, you know, like if you're concerned, we'll, we'll just call your doctor and, you know, just go talk to your doctor. It's fine. Cause if, if, if I think something's wrong, right. My mother's not going to convince me that there's nothing wrong. I need to hear it from 
<laughs> somebody who actually knows what they're talking about, right? Because as far as I was concerned, when I was younger, my mother didn't know shit. <laughs> right? So. <laughs> but I would go in with, like, concerns. Like, I would have, like, weird pains and whatever. And they would turn out to be growing pains or something. Like, I don't know where that came from because I was a short, skinny little fucker. But I don't know where growing pains came from. I never really grew. But that would kind of be the thing that it was, right? Or like hormone changes, right? Because, you know, puberty. And so things were just going, and I'd go in and talk to her, and she'd be, and, and she would be very belittling about it, right? And, or I would go in with more serious concerns, like my back. I've had a bad back for as long as I can remember. My lower back is absolute garbage. And... I would do something like I would sweep the floor and just turn kind of funny and I would be bedridden for a week. Like, no joke. I would shovel snow. Like, my brother and I used to take turns shoveling snow when we were kids and I would be on the couch for two weeks. Like, it was it was bad. So I would go to the doctor about my back and, they, you know, oh, you just have weak back muscles, la, la, la. Like, you're fine. Urgh. I'm like, okay, but, like, I'm 10 years old. My back shouldn't be doing this. Like, and it's not like I was a couch potato. I was a very active. I mean, I wasn't a sporty kid, but, you know, I was doing karate. I would play street hockey with the boys on the neighborhood. Like, I didn't involve myself with, like, school sports because then I'd have to be at the school. <laughs> and I hated everybody that was at the school. So, you know, but I would play, you know, with the boys on my street. I would play baseball I would play street hockey I would you know we used to wrestle like <laughs> we would wrestle with them like you know <clears throat> like I was active I walked everywhere my my friends and I would walk like all over town and you know get into mischief and whatever and you know, run away and you know that's back when I used to not mind running I still didn't like it but I didn't mind doing it and if I thought I was going to get in trouble, yeah, fuck, I was off like a shot. But, you know, so it, it's not like, you know, I was an absolute couch potato, but was, I just, it wasn't right that my back was like that. And I knew it. Like, I mean, you know your body. You live in it, right? So fast forward many, many years, like when I had monkey, okay, so what, 12 years ago? <laughs> I go in, he was a planned C-section. So I went in and, you know, they prep you and they get you in the operating room and they give you your epidural and whatever. And so my anesthesiologist is like, you know, you got to curl up in a ball, even though you're like, you know, wicked pregnant and, you know, haven't seen your knees in six months. But yeah, curl up in a ball so that you're back curves and sticks out and whatever and he's like feeling around and he's looking for the spot where he has to put the epidural and he's like um what what is what is up with your spine <laughs> I'm like why is it not there <laughs> like, <laughs> I was always told I had a lot of backbone like I don't know <laughs> And he says to me, well, he's, you know, doing this down my spine. And then all of a sudden he's going off to the side and to the right a little bit. And I'm, I'm like, like, what are you doing? That's, that's not where my spine is. He says, well, that's where yours is. Like, so according to him, my back, my, my spine toward the bottom goes like this. <laughs> I was like, well, now that would explain all my back issues. Like my back hurts every day, my lower back every day, all day for as long as I can remember. I generally ignore it. I mean, I've had it all my life. It's fine. Like whatever. If I have to take something for it, that is a really bad fucking day. And I am not doing shit. <laughs> now that hasn't happened in a good long while. And I learned quickly when I started doing like karate and kickboxing and wrestling and all that stuff that when I do that stuff and I'm doing especially like the warm ups and stuff, I have to modify the way that I do things because 
if I don't, I mean, I can do them, but I'll end up on my back for weeks. Like I, I will not, I will not be able to move. It's, you know, and my hips are kind of getting to be like that too, where I could push myself and, and do these things, but I chance my hips actually locking. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> like, you know, I just, I don't need that kind of attention on me. Like, you know, I've had that happen once at work. I think it was a week or two ago. I was on my hands and knees cleaning this big Jesus tiled shower. So, you know, I've got my magic eraser and you got to scrub in all the fucking grout. And, oh, fuck. It's such a pain in the ass. But I'm down on my hands and knees doing it, right? And I went to shimmy over the other way to get the corner. And my fucking right hip locked. God damn it. I'm, and it was just me and my boss, my coworker. It was supposed to. Blah, 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 blah. Must have been a Friday when my coworker was off. She's off like every second, every third Friday or something like that. Um, so I'm yelling for my boss because I can't move. <laughs> I can't get out of this fucking shower. And I still have, you know, a couple other bathrooms to do in a kitchen. <laughs> like... <laughs> So she comes in and she's like, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, my hip locked. I can't get up. I'm down on all fours in this shower. And I'm like, help me. <laughs> it's not like I had to step out of a tub or anything. It was a walk-in shower. So she just came into the shower and helped me up. And she's like, well, what do we do? I says, well, I need to get out of the shower because everything's wet and I don't want to fall to boot, right? So we got me out of the shower and I had to dry my feet with one of my rags and I had to stretch and move around as as much as I could until the fucker popped. And when it popped, I'm here to tell you, my boss jumped. <laughs> it was like, crack. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? I was like, that was my hip. It's fine. We're good now. Carry on. <laughs> I have to be careful how I do things. <laughs> But it doesn't stop me from doing it. Like, you know, I mean, I, I got to work. So there's that. I love kickboxing. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I will simply modify what I do. People get frustrated with it or have a problem with it. That's too fucking bad. You know what? I paid my money. Eat a dick. <laughs> I refuse to sit around and do nothing. So that makes it worse. I feel so I got to turn my car on. Everything's starting to fog up in here. There, I'll turn that on. I gotta turn my heat up. Sorry if it's loud. Turn my seats on. Oh, it gets toasty quick. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna not do it. I I, I love kickboxing too much. It's so much fun. I, I really enjoy it. <clears throat> My boyfriend was doing a countdown for me tonight. He's so funny. He texted me and he asked me when kickboxing. If I had kickboxing tonight, and I said yeah at um, eight thirty. So you know every like twenty minutes, half hour. So he's like texting me, giving me a countdown. <laughs> I'm like I know. I'm getting a little bit of a rush, and I do. I get a bit of an adrenaline rush, like, just before I go out the door to warm up the car and stuff. I get a bit of an adrenaline rush. It's like, oh, and I get, it's, you know, like, whew, excited, and it's kind of hard to breathe. Well, not hard to breathe, but it's like, you know, like start breathing a little faster. So I just get so hyped. I'm like, fuck yes. Let's go hit some shit. <laughs> I just want to hit some shit. <laughs> And that's what I told him. I was like, I get, I get such a little rush just before we go. I get so excited. I said, I love it so much. It makes me so happy. But I get almost like a nervous feeling just before I have to go. And he laughed. He's like, well, that's good. And I said, oh, I said, babe, you have no idea. Like, it just makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. It, it's just such an adrenaline rush. I love it so much. <clears throat> but I do need to find some things to do to help in between classes to strengthen my hips because I would like to be able to do more of what they're doing, right? Like, I don't know.
I feel like a bit of a wuss when I have to modify stuff to just to kind of keep moving and maybe kind of work the same area that everybody else is working just in a in a softer way lower the impact kind of deal because the jumping like even jumping jacks that the the impact of it is just it's too much it's too much I can't do it like when we do our kicks and stuff he wants us to be kind of jumping kind of off one foot right like off the ball of your foot and it's like I'm not nope nope the last thing I need is to like jump and have my hip lock and then I'm like a sack of potatoes on the ground like fuck that it's just it's just happening <laughs> like and it hurts when they lock like it's not a happy feeling <laughs> and then you have to like pop it right like you would like crack your knuckle you got to kind of do that and I mean it feels good when that happens but it hurts too it's like a good ow but it's an ow nonetheless and it's wicked loud and it gets everybody's attention. And the last thing I fucking want is everybody's attention on me. I hate that shit. So. Oh my God. I gotta, oh, the heat feels good on my back. Oh, my lower back is a little sore tonight. It's always a little sore after class, but I find it nice, the nice thing about coming to vlog after kickboxing is that I sit in my car with the heated seat on and it feels so good on my lower back. <laughs> it helps. And then when I go to bed at night, I have a fitted sheet that is also heated, it covers my mattress. And so like it just helps to relax my legs, my hips, my back. It's oh my God. It just so nice. Because I can't be bothered. He keeps, my instructor keeps pushing this Epsom salt bath shit. Which I did when I was younger. And it does work. It's awesome. It's, it, it is a good idea. I just don't have the time to be fucking... A, filling a tub, and then B, to waste time laying there in a tub. Like, it's just like... like there are things I could be doing right now. <laughs> like... This way, like, I'm unconscious. I'm sleeping. It's fine. We can just warm up the actual mattress and just full body, full body heat. It's awesome. And I'm not wasting time because I'm sleeping. So I'm actually, I'm actually multitasking. <laughs> so. Anywho. That was about it for today. Oh, and Monkey and I actually had a wonderful time on the af on the couch this afternoon uh, when I got back from uh, the superstore. I'd made up. I said we're gonna. I said I told him that as long as he got all his schoolwork done this afternoon, we would do a matinee movie on the couch. He and I and, and Boo Boo if he wanted to join us. Um. But I wasn't going out and buying snacks. I'd gone out yesterday and I bought uh, mozzarella sticks. <sighs> and uh, cauliflower buffalo wings. They are so good. And you bake them all up in the oven. And I had leftover uh, pizza roll bites things. They're awesome. So I'm going to bake all those up. And uh, while I upload... Uh, while well, I was uploading a video for today, uh, for Wednesday, um, it was very last minute. I'm surprised I got it. I think I got it up just in time, maybe a little after three. I was impressed with myself. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> and we sat on the couch and we watched, um, the equalizer with, um, Denzel Washington. I love him so much. He is fantastic. And he really enjoyed it. And he really liked the mozzarella sticks. I didn't realize that Monkey has never in his life had mozzarella sticks. Now, we haven't gone out for dinner for a good long while. But I always ask him all the time. I used to ask him when we went out for dinner, you know, like, do you want... 
I like to order a whole bunch of appetizers and that's generally my meal. And then the kids can eat some of the appetizer and they usually have like a burger and fries or whatever, right? But it dawned on me like when we do that, or when we used to do that, Monkey would never eat the, the appetizers. He would just, he would just have his dinner, right? And I guess he's never had them with his dad either. So I was like, oh, well, you haven't lived until you've had mozzarella sticks. I didn't have any marinara to dip them in, but I had ranch. Oh, fuck, it was so good. But he's not a dip person, so he just ate them plain. I was like, you do not know what you're missing, my friend. Holy moly. And he ate some of the pizza bites. He likes the pizza bites. He didn't like the broccoli wings the broccoli wings they were a little too spicy for him he does not like spicy anything anything spicier than like barbecue sauce is too hot for him he doesn't like it it's fine I ate him and boo boo dro drifted down he's like I smell buffalo wings I was like do you well here you go and I didn't say anything to him until he went to bite it and I was like they're they're cauliflower and he but he said they were pretty good. He said they were pretty good. He ate a few of them. And he ate some mozzarella sticks. And I think he had a couple of pizza bites. But he didn't want to sit and watch the movie. He had he had a... Uh, he was playing a game with uh, one of his friends online. So, But Monkey really enjoyed the movie. I had to explain a couple of things to him. Because it's not really subject matter that he thinks about right he's 12 and it's you know it kind of centers around um, like a sex trafficking thing so um, I kind of had to explain that to him a little bit um, but he really enjoyed the movie he liked the fighting scenes there's some good fight scenes in that I'm not a fan of when directors go crazy with the slow motion shots, that drives me batshit crazy. And there are a few of them in this movie, but the way that they're done in this movie, it's done well. I, I, I appreciate it. Hello, big truck. With lots of stuff in it. Wow. Um, yeah, so we both really enjoyed that. And the snacks were fantastic. And, uh, I just did, like, I think, they, I, yeah, I just made them, like, chicken noodle soup for lunch tonight. Some crackers. <sighs> Chopped up some, you know, raw veggies for them. And gotta get your vegetables in. So. Oh, my goodness. I have sushi in the fridge that I'm going to murder when I get home. In fact, I think... We're almost at the 30 minute mark, so I'm gonna boot. I'm gonna go do that right now because, oh yeah, sushi baby. So, I'm gonna bounce and go do that. Anybody who happens to be watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself, and we'll talk later.